So I literally just got done tweeting on Twitter saying, I'm so glad My Hero Academia did not come out today. Because recreators almost killed me. In this show, I know we've been building this up. The Gaju vs. Fujita and the Mako vs. Shizuku. I knew it's gonna. I knew it's gonna be great. I knew it's gonna be amazing. This setup just stated that you know it's basically symbolized the climax is here. Next episode and that ending music got me hyped. And, and the show has not has done nothing to make me feel as if it's not going to be hyped next episode. Because I would have died, guys. I would have sh- for sure died if this show would have just went balls to the wall. I I would have I would have I would have died if my hero was here too. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even want to know. But what the show did do, it suckered us. Now, how do I mean that it suckered us? It got us so invested into our main male character Fujita that we for we forgot we were, you know we were so absorbed into him, wanting him to win, wanting him to be Gaju. We forgot the real competition was not between him and Gaju. It, it's between Mako and Shizuku. Those two are just going to help decide who wins. And when Hyoto just walks right past, you know, Shizuku, and on top of that, you know, Sengoku screaming at, you know, Fujita saying, don't do the variation. It merely, really piques my interest. How on, imp- why, why are they drawn to this character? And the judge says that it's the dedication it's the passion it's as if he loves dancing more than the people who have been dancing their whole life ever since they were yay high and that's something that you know it makes a lot of sense people are drawn to people who like to work hard people are drawn to people who are dedicated at doing something especially if you're a judge because if you're a judge of something you probably enjoy doing that you probably had a, a long passion for that hell you probably still do and that's something that's just really cool to see even though he, he messed up they were drawn to him. The eyes were drawn to him. People were looking at him. Even whenever he didn't even know, they knew that he wasn't the best, but they knew he had the dedication to be amazing. And maybe that's what Sengoku sees in him outside of that potential, outside of that just natural talent that he has. Dedication and natural talent will get you so far, but it will most definitely garner the eyes of people because they're going to be asking, if he sticks to this, or if he's been doing this as long as the people that he's dancing against, how good would he be? How amazing would he be? How great would he be? And we actually even get to see, you know, Fujita to get, you know, Fujita get caught up in his passion because he forgets this is a competition about can Mako dance better than Shizuku if if she can if he can make her dance that that well better surpass Shizuku then Gaju will take her back and you know that's the dedication that gets in the way and that's what that's truly symbolizing. It's really trying to put a big emphasis on that. And I wonder, you know, it's something that's I guess hard to read and sometimes I literally you know kind of garner these thoughts and really just understand it better when I talk out loud about it like middle of a video you guys I don't script guys I don't script when I talk about shows whatsoever maybe the beginning sequence where I cut a couple clips that are like 15 seconds long I don't script them I think of you know think of them in my head but look I don't I don't script I promise you and it's amazing. That's just outlines. Those are just notes. I mean, the top one says Sengoku loses two pounds in a day when dancing in long round tournaments. It's amazing what anime can do. And <laughs> I, I'm just so surprised it got me so absorbed into Fujita and made me lose track of who the competition is really about. But it does beg the question, why is Fujita? I mean, is that why Fujita is Sengoku's for you know first student ever? Why? Why Fujita? What what caught your eye about him to begin with? I mean, was it him doing? Was it was it the uh, the square the square box or whatever it's called? He did it all night long. Was it that? Was it whenever you saw that dedication? Was it? Was that it, Sin Goku? Why him though? And I mean, Hiro's mom states that maybe it's for someone else. After she you know she said that, I may have to go back and rewatch it. But she did say maybe it's for someone else. Isn't this your first student ever? Maybe it's for someone else. And if it is for someone else, who is that someone for? I'm really interested. Who is that someone for? We don't know. He, I mean, excuse me, Fujita's mom. Could she possibly be a professional dancer? I don't know. We don't even know how much Fujita knows about his mom. So, yeah, I'm, I'm dying to know. But, yeah, as I already read off my note, Sengoku states that he loses a couple pounds whenever he dances in long 
really long round tournaments and stuff like that. So that's nuts. Just to go, you know, just goes to show you really need that stamina. And it makes sense. Some people think you wouldn't need that stamina over your wrestling and stuff like that. Go and wrestle someone. Oh my God, you get tired in the first couple minutes. So that's really cool to see. I'm glad that th this show is biggest thing. I, I, you know, people, I don't care if you read the manga or not, you're wrong because I got the proper opinion always. <laughs> no, but, um, no, the show really grabs people. Because it it's not just about ballroom dancing straight up front and having a great character. It goes into detail how you need that stamina, how height will affect, you know, the height of your partner, the height of you.